this is one of my very favourite plants. It's Phacelia and um, it's multi-purpose actually because it's a green manure, so so fantastic. Well, it's not the best of, of nitrogen fixers, but it is, it is a green manure and it is also brilliant for beneficial insects, um, including bees. And I just want to show you the amount of bees on here because you're so often you're looking up on the internet to see what are the best plants for bees. So on here, um, we've got, I think, can't see her bottom, but she's either a Bombus terrestris or Leucorum, so either a buff-tailed or a white-tailed bee. Um, any amount of little hoverflies and solitary bees. And try to move this really, really slowly. Look at it. Honeybees. I saw some carder bees a moment ago. Uh, where are they? There's also, it's very exciting, but it seems to be gone now. There was a huge, great big. Um, there's another Leucorum, I think. It's a white tailed bee. Um, when I was looking here earlier, there was a an enormous great big Bombus terrestris queen, a new queen. And this is um, this is the last day of August. Oh, here's a little carder bee, look. She's gone. <laughs> uh, the carder bee. It's just covered in them. It's just amazing. Where have you gone? Busy bee, this one. Here we go. So that's um, Bombus pascuorum really beautiful, the common carder bee. This is one of the most common bees that we still have. And if you see a bee around in sort of October, late October, um, it's almost definitely going to be this bee. This is one of the last bees to go into hibernation. Um, very beautiful colour. And I've also just seen, um, here we go. Um, this, I think, um, this could be one of a, I think this is a male Bombus lapidarius, a male red-tailed bee. Um, Red-tail. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Can't see because I'm looking through a camera. But either a male lapidarius or... Yeah, that's what it is. Or it could be um, a Praetorum, the um, early nesting bee, but I don't think so. So, Phacelia. Um... Oh, now look, you see, look, this car to be here. Right, look at the difference in colours. Really, really, really pale, pale yellow, this one. Compared to the one that is over here, which is deep, dark orange. Um, and then we've got a hoverfly here. Oh, gone. So, yeah, so if you want to plant something, there's another hoverfly. Hoverflies are good pollinators as well, not quite as good as bees. So, oh, they love it. Let's watch her. Oh, look at the pollen on this one. Get that? Oh, beautiful. So this really is one of the best plants you can plant. And if you plant a huge amount like this, you see there's quite a lot in one bed here. This is why it's got honeybees on it. Honeybees tend to go for um, you know, the scouts when they come out. Not really interested in the odd little bloom here or there. <coughs> here or there they want to go back and tell the rest of the hive that um, there's a really, a really big foraging opportunity. Oh, <gasps> something here I don't recognise. Oh, so I'm just curious about this one because of Wow, the stones have come out here. The stripes on its back. What are you? This is most odd. Okay, I'm going to get really distracted now with this one. Oh no, it's gone away. Right, this little bee, not 100% sure what it is. 
so I'm going to catch this a bit longer than I would have done just so that I can go away and try and identify it later. What I'm not sure about is that great big patch of um, yellowy colour on its back. Where are you? Anyway, I digress. So, plant for Celia, lots of it, in succession. Um, and you could have it flowering like this from, ooh, from, from May, May through to September.